Welcome to the second episode of my trip to the Yokuchi company headquarters, where I set up two tanks in the U showroom. The second tank, which I will build, will be combination of roots and stones in the classic island composition. Welcome on Yokuchi Aquascaping channel. The idea behind this aquascape is to create composition where roots and stones will complement each other to form unity. Let's start working. The stones which I used in this project are serious stones. I was looking for some smaller bits and few bigger rocks to make the shape of an island. To keep the hardscape in the place during the maintenance, I glued them to the bottom of the aquarium using the paper towel and cyanoacrylate glue. I have a lot of different kind of wood to choose to this project. My final wood choice was few branches of some local bits of the wood. I glue the wood to the rocks using cyanoacrylate glue and paper towel technique. This method keeps our wood in place when we flood the tank. When the gluing is finished, it's time to add our power base. To provide more nutrients for our plants, I use few root tubs. Now it's time for aqua soil. When you adding the aqua soil on top of the power base, make sure you completely cover the gaps 
and surface of the power base. To add more details into the our layout, I choose to add some crushed rocks with different sizes. The last thing which I add into the hardscaping process is the sand. I choose more yellow sand to make some contrast to the rocks. Now you can see we have finished the hardscape and now it's time for the planting. For this aquascape my plant choice is mostly stem plants. I choose them because I want very colorful and detailed layout. Now let's start the planting. I glued the plants to the hardscape using gel type cyanoacrylate glue. I hope you like this second belt in the gallery and I want to invite you to like and subscribe to Yokuji Aquascaping channel and see you soon in another build videos.